Hello friends. Today topic. What is torque? When you push hard enough on something, it moves. But it can move in lots of different ways. If you push straight down in the middle of an object, it will move forward. But if you push off to one side, it might not. If you push a merry-go-round towards the center, nothing will happen. You have to push it in a direction that doesn't go towards the center. A torque is just a force that is applied out of line with the center of mass of an object. A force applied a distance r away from the center of mass that causes the object to rotate. Let us see this practical example and know how exactly torque works. Suppose if you want to release or tighten the lug nut of your car wheel, you have to use the socket wrench. As you see in the video a man tried to release the A lug nut of the wheel. When a man applied the force on a socket wrench, the lug nut rotates with a rotation of the socket wrench. So here we see a force produce rotation. So what type of force act on the socket wrench? That is torque. It is a force, which a man applied a distance r away from the center of mass, that causes the lug nut to rotate. A bigger force means a bigger torque. And a larger distance from the pivot point means a bigger torque. And just like with linear forces, unbalanced torques can cause an acceleration. In this case, an angular acceleration. They cause the rate of rotation to change. In everyday life, you have certain intuitions. Things you've learned just by being in the world. By touching things. Pushing things. And doing your own mini science experiments every day. Perhaps to the irritation of your parents when you were a child. For example, you know that it will be harder to open a door. If you push near the hinges. Instead, you push closer to the outside edge. By doing this, you increase the distance from the pivot point and increase the torque. Levers also work by torque. A larger lever makes it easier to move heavy objects because the distance from the pivot point is increased. Now, we can take that intuitive, conceptual understanding and turn it into an equation. We know that the torque is proportional to the size of the force you use. Bigger pushes will cause more of a change in the rotation. We also know that larger levers, which create larger perpendicular distances, will do the same. So torque must be proportional to both these things. Mathematically, torque is the force, measured in newtons, multiplied by the distance to the pivot point from where the force is being applied, measured in meters. So torque as a number is measured in Newton meters. Since torque is just a rotational version of force, we can also apply Newton's first law to this equation. Similarly, for an object to be at rest or at a constant rate of rotation, the torques must be balanced. So, the question arises in our mind. How torque is balanced in this cases? Let us do an example. Suppose I have a beam balance, in which one beam is supported at center, and can freely move about its support. Two scale span of equal weights is attached at the ends of the beam. This scale spans are at an equal distance from the center. As we see the beam is balanced because torque is balanced. So, how torque balanced in this case? As we considered the center as a pivot point, the two scale spans are attached equal distance from the center. So the distance from the pivot point is same. Suppose it is 10 centimeters. We also know the weight of both spans are same. The force acting on the right side of the beam due to the weight of first span. And the rotation will occur in a clockwise direction. Also, 
the same force acting on the left side of the beam due to the weight of the second span. And rotation will occur in an anti-clockwise direction. But we see no rotation occur. Because the clockwise torque and anti-clockwise torque is balanced. So, plugging those value in the equation of torque. We see both torques have equal magnitude. Now do another example to understand how exactly clockwise and anti-clockwise torque works. Let's say you have a seesaw. And that seesaw has two friends sitting on each end. One weighs 40 kilograms. And the other weighs 30 kilograms. The one that weighs 40 moves closer to the middle. Reducing the torque until the seesaw is perfectly balanced. If the 30 kilogram person is 3 meters away from the pivot point, how far away from the pivot point is his friend? As yes, we see no rotation occur on both side. So the torque acting on both side are balanced. So both torques are equal. When we plugging these values, we will find how far away from the pivot point is his friend. Hope you understand the concept of torque. And also understand the anti-clockwise and clockwise torque and how torque works. In the next video, we will understand the real life application of torque. And the rotational equilibrium. If you really like that video please share it with your friends. If you want to ask any question comment in the comment section. Bye guys.